Hi everybody, I'm Miguel with LouisvilleDrummer.com and you're watching the latest episode of Drumming 101 with Miguel. Today we're going to take a step back from the crazy grooves and look at some fundamental practice methods for drum set. A lot of the material that I'll be going over today can be found in my article, Practice Methods for Drum Set Part 1 on LouisvilleDrummer.com. Now what I'm hoping to accomplish with this video is to provide more opportunities for you guys to grow both musically and technically. So let's take a look at the four sticking patterns that we'll be going over today. All right, now the four patterns are right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, 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 left, left, and left, left, right, right. Each pattern will be played four times when we go through the exercises. All right, our first exercise is going to be to play all four patterns on just one snare drum. We're going to use a dynamic scale of one to five, one being the softest and five being the loudest. Your goal will be to master all four exercises at every tempo, both fast and slow, and at all dynamic ranges from one to five. So when you're done, you'll be able to play fast, slow, loud and soft, and everything in between. Now be sure to focus on posture while you're playing as well. Even the slightest hunch can trickle down to your back, causing fatigue and even long-term damage over time. Your hands should be relaxed at your sides, and you should never have to hunch your shoulders to play on the snare drum. So let's take a look at the four snare drum patterns at a moderate tempo. All right. As soon as you're comfortable with just the snare patterns, then we'll add a bass drum and hi-hat ostinato on the feet. This will be a nice exercise to help us build some independence with our limbs. We'll start out by adding the bass drum on beats one and three, and the hi-hat on beats two and four. Okay, now be sure that you're still focusing on technique, posture, and no consistency as we progress through these exercises. Next, we're going to move our hands around the drums a little. On beats one and three, we're going to move the right hand to the floor tom and the left hand to the high tom. And on beats two and four, we're going to bring them back together on the snare drum. So let's hear how this sounds with just the toms, and then we're going to add the bass drum and hi-hat ostinato to that as well. All right, now as we move on with these exercises, remember to practice them slow, fast, loud, and soft. Use this as an opportunity to challenge yourself to build muscle memory, endurance, technique, and all those things that help you to grow as a drum set player. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna incorporate these patterns into a basic 2-4 rock beat. So we'll lay down a 2-4 rock beat and use the patterns as a drum fill. Let's hear what that sounds like.
All right, so now you've learned some more practice methods for drum set. If you like this kind of stuff, I highly recommend the book Stick Control by George Lawrence Stone. It's a classic book, and it's got over 48 different sticking patterns in the first two pages alone. As always, special thanks to our sponsor, Lush and Video and Photography. For more info on their services, please visit lushandphotography.com. That's L-O-E-S-C-H-E-N photography.com. Thanks for watching the latest episode of Drumming 101 with Miguel. Be sure to visit us on Facebook and Twitter. I wish you guys all the best on your musical endeavors. Goodbye.